and gentlemen, my name is Kai Guy Slide, and I am sliding into your subscription boxes today with episode number 15 of our Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, what we did is we took on Flannery. We got our fourth gym badge here in the Hoenn region. We made our way back toward Rustboro City with our new uh, fossil that we got to try and get an encounter, which we did. It was a Golbat. I did not nickname it last episode because it had to get cut short. But I did do that off screen, and we will show you guys what that uh, nickname turned out to be. Uh, then we made our way back here to Rustboro, and now what we're going to do today is we're going to make our way over to Petalburg City, get a new encounter, and then take on the fifth gym in the Hoenn region, which just happens to be our father. So we have a we possibly have a battle against our daddy going on today so you guys got that to look forward to before we get into anything i did do some off-screen grinding so i'm gonna give you guys a quick team recap everyone is now level 31 because flannery was level 30 and there's like a four level spike in between flannery and norman so i'm a little scared to fight him because i'm thinking it's pokemon being around like level 30 to 33 or 34 and i'm a little scared about that so we did grind up to 31 that way we're not over level we're right on par First up here, we got Franklin the Blast Toys with the Torrent ability and the Lax Nature. Holding the C instance to power up the, po the power up the attack power of his water type moves. Wow, I cannot speak. With the moves Protect, which it did learn in off-screen grinding at level 31. Bite, Water Gun, and Morning Sun. We got Red Tackle because honestly, Bite's better because it's special. So yeah. Next up, we have Falcon the King of Crits himself. The Pidgeotto with the Kenai ability and a Bold Nature. With holding the Sharp Beats up the power of his Flying type moves with Tackle, Super Fang, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack. Then we have Chipper the Charmeleon with the Blades ability and a Naughty Nature. Holding the leftovers to give him a little bit of extra HP at the end of every turn. With him with Scratch Growl, Ember, and Smoke Screen. Still hasn't learned anything new. Still won't evolve. Chipper's kind of being a pain in my butt right now because his damage output it leaves a lot to be desired. Same with Franklin at the moment. We need to get them some better moves. Next up we have Antonio the Gardevoir with the Trace ability and an Adamant Nature. The worst nature for a Gardevoir. Holding the Scope Lens to up his critical hate ratio. With the moves Calm Mind, Confusion, Psychic, and Faint Attack. Then we have Dump Truck, the Laron, with the Rocket ability and the oh-so-sassy nature. Holding the Black Bounce up the power of his fighting type moves with Iron Tail, Metal Claw, Rock Smash, and Takedown. And last but not least, we have bringing up the rear Wrigley the Pup himself with the Intimidate ability and a hasty nature. Holding the Choice Band up the power of his physical moves with the moves Tackle, Bite, Hyper Fang, and Rock Tomb. So yeah, we did do a little bit of off-screen grinding. It wasn't too bad. It honestly did not take me that long, especially because Wrigley, Choice Band, Hyper Fang, one-shots literally everything in sight. So it didn't take me as long as I originally thought it might. So I think I honestly finished the grinding in total with speed up in like 15 minutes compared to like the half hour I thought it would take. So that was kind of a plus, honestly. But I'm a little worried to take on Norman because, uh, once again, all his Pokemon are going to be ridiculously high-leveled. And I d I'm not prepared. I didn't, like do any major research the only thing i know and remember is that his team in uh original ruby and sapphire was like level 28 to like 30 or 31 or something like that somewhere close but since we did do a level spike in this game and increase the levels by like 10 percent they're probably going to be in the early 30s unfortunately so that's going to suck for us all right i'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh bertha well, spoilers. We named our Golbat Bertha. I have a story behind this, and I'll tell you guys what it is. So we've got Bertha the Golbat here with the inner focus ability to prevent flinching, as well as a hasty nature with the moves Leech Like, Supersonic, Astonish, and Bite. So the reason I named my uh, Golbat's Bertha is because Bat Bertha has a B sound going on. It has the same, um, I think the word's assonance, something like that. Um, but the reason I named it Bertha is because when I was younger, my mom used to always threaten me to behave, or else she would call Bertha the babysitter. And as a result, I always thought Bertha was just like this evil, like weird spiritual creature who would like scare the heck out of me. Kind of like the boogeyman meets like a witch sort of thing. And I don't know, I've always just named my Golbat's Bertha ever since then. I don't know, it kind of fits it I think to be honest with you guys. Alright, but speaking of encounters, we're about to go and get one right now. Because if you all remember, we have an old rod now and there is a, a little lake down here in Petalburg City. Huh, would you look at that? So, we, last time we were here, we actually didn't have a rod, so we could not get said encounter. However, since we now have one, that's exactly what we're about to do. Let's go, baby. Let's get something good. Let's get something very, very good. Alright. We have a Pokemon on the hook. My eyes are being shut as we speak. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's an Ninkata, isn't it? Oh, no. It's a Lotad. Oh, okay. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. You four times resisted, so this should not KO you by any means. Okay. No, we're good. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Astonish, should do like two. It did two. All right, we'll throw a Pokeball at this thing. Because honestly, I don't think a Great Ball is worth it. Ah, excuse me. I burped a little bit. Really? You're going to break out of the Pokeball? Wow, that's great. I'm drinking Cran Raspberry LaCroix, guys. I'm, be I'm drinking some nice little LaCroix. I was at work earlier today, 
and a student came to our front desk and said, Hey, I have a 24 pack of LaCroix that I don't want. I'm not going to drink. Does anybody want it? And I just happened to be right there. So I literally raised my hand and was like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Free drinks. I'm not going to turn that down. Plus LaCroix. I, I didn't read your decks. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. I didn't read. I got excited about LaCroix. You guys can understand if you like it. I'm sorry. You know what? We're naming this low tide LaCroix. <laughs> Yo, LaCroix the low tide. Why does this fit so well? Dude, I actually really like this nickname for uh, low tide Lombre and Ludicolo. These are going to be my names for them from now on because honestly this is hilarious. Oh, no, no, no. Just one X. LaCroix the low tide. I love it. Oh my god. We have LaCroix the low tide. That's so good. We're going to go ahead and take a look at him real quick. Just real quick and see how his stats are looking, how his abilities rocking and all that stuff. Where are you, LaCroix? I love this nickname so much. Holding X accuracy, too, so that's kind of cool. So he's got Rain Dish, which will recover a little bit of HP in the rain, and a lonely nature. Oh, don't be lonely. I like you. With the X accuracy and Astonish Ground Absorb. Okay, cool. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, that could actually be a pretty good water type if we end up losing Franklin for some reason that I hope never happens. So I'm knocking on wood right now. But yeah, a resident literally came down and was like, oh, hey, I've got a 24 pack of LaCroix I don't want. Does anybody want it? And I literally raised my hand and was like, yeah, I will take that. Absolutely. I will absolutely take that off your hands. Do not worry there, pal. Uh, let's leave with Franklin. Sure, why not? So I got a free 24 pack of LaCroix as a result of that. And honestly, I'm not complaining because a lot of people hate this stuff, but I think it's actually kind of good. And it's a great alternative to soda. If you like the, the taste and bubbliness of soda, but you don't like the calories and all the sugar, this is for you because it's literally got like, uh, it's no sodium, no sugar, no calories. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. So, yeah, it's not, this isn't an ad or anything. But LaCroix, if you want to sponsor me, dude, hey. I'll take, I'll hit, hit me up. Hit me up. If anyone from LaCroix is watching this, hit me up. I'll, I'll take, I'll, I got you. I got you. I already, I already use you on a daily basis. You might as well sponsor me. Anyway, we're fighting a Smoochum here, but honestly, it's going to do nothing to us because it's missing its Sweet Kiss because it's a garbage Pokemon and Bite's going to easily 2 KO it. I think the only, we only have to fight three trainers in this, um, in this gym. I think it's three trainers and then you get to your father. So that should be pretty quick, honestly, because I'm pretty sure they all have one Pokemon as well. All right, I forget what the rooms are, though. So there's the Zero Reduction Room and there is the Defense Room. We're just going to go into the Zero Reduction Room because I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. And we're going to challenge ourselves because I... I'm afraid of the unknown typically, but you know what? We got this, guys. We got this. I believe in us. I believe in our team. I believe in all of you specifically. Just like you should believe in yourself. PSA of the day with me. You're welcome. It's got a shuckle. Yo, we get to see pissed off shuckle again. Let's go. <laughs> this will never not be funny to me. Look at his face. He's literally just so angry. Dude, he looks so angry at just the entire universe. He looks like he's about to like smack you with his like jelly arms, dude. This is why you don't mess with Shuckle, man. Shuckle is like, look at him. He's staring through your soul. He's literally Cyclops right now, shooting lasers at you, bro. What did we do? Who hurt you, Shuckle? My goodness. Franklin with the critical hit, not bad. Let's go, Franklin. That's my boy. You're actually doing pretty well, Franklin. It's actually a little bit surprising. I feel bad saying that to you, but we defeated Trainer Landon. My Pokemon's abilities weren't harmed, but I still lost. No, because you have a Shuckle who has like base like five speed and like 10 or 15 attack and defense. Or not attack and defense, attack and special attack. But then again, you go have like base 250 defense, so I guess it kind of evens out. Our gym leader told us to go all out and beat you, even if you happen to be the leader's kid. Wow, dad. Dad, that's harsh, man. I thought we were tight, me and you. I thought we had like a father-son connection going on. I guess not. Okay, before I make myself sad. <laughs> Alright, so you have an X attack. A bite should 2 hit KO you because, see that? You're not very bulky. You're not. It does 2 KO, so this is over. <laughs> okay, so we've had good luck with the gym trainers. The question is, though, will we have good luck with our father himself? Bring it on, Dad. Bring it on. I am ready. I am raring to go. I'm about to earn my fifth gym badge in the Hoenn region. Gym leader's room, let's go. Let's go, Dad. You ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing on me, man. I'm Luke Skywalker. You're Darth Vader. You can't touch me. I end up beating you in the end. Spoiler alert. So you did get all four gym badges. Fine. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Kai, I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But, a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Kai, you'd better give it your best shot too! I don't know what the whole covering the mouth was for. I was kind of going to go for like a Darth Vader kind of thing, but I suck at Darth Vader impressions, so it kind of just sounded stupid. But hey, you know what? I'm stupid, so it works out well. Got a Persian going on. Okay. 
Okay, that uh, that's doable. I'm assuming he's gonna he didn't fake out. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We can we should be able to do a decent amount with this work. Maybe like a 25 percent. Okay, that's 25 percent. All right, I'm okay with that. You keep hitting me with special moves, man. I'm fine with this. I am fine with that. I have zero complaints with that. Not A1. I'm gonna Morning Sun up though, just on the off chance he does want to crit me right here. And because we've never used it before, so might as well see the animation. Look at that gorgeous animation. The blue lights coming down, the blue sparkles, and we're healing up. Let's go, baby. It's a pretty animation. Um, I think I just want to bite here and make him waste one of his potions. That's fine. I'm hitting you with special moves. Growl me all you want. Growl at me all. Oh, you're a little kitty, though. You can't growl at me. You're too adorable. <laughs> I love cats. I love me some kittens, guys. Love them, love them, love them. I cannot wait to get home to my little babies. I go home for the summer in about a week now? A week from today, I believe, or a week from tomorrow? Yeah, actually, today's the third, so it's a week from today. Spoilers, I'm recording this the night before. Uh, yeah, I get to go home a week from today and see my kittens and see my family as much... Excuse me. Whoa, LaCroix. Easy on the burp in there, bro. As much as I love seeing my family and all that, they really know I'm there to see my kittens. They're my baby girls. They know that's what I'm there to see. And I just realized, too, uh, Norman's cat Persian there is level 30, so it's a good thing we grinded up to the way we did, because level 31 is gonna be... Okay, so level 30 is his first Pokemon, so that means his ace is gonna be like 34. Okay, so we got a Relicanth. We don't really have anything for this. I think the best place to go into Antonio and just click Psychic. So I think that's what we're gonna do. The only problem is if this thing has, like, Rock Tomb or something, it's gonna hurt, and it's gonna lower... Oh, wait. I read Relicanth, not Remoraid. Oh, well... <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. <laughs> I swear I read Relicanth, not Remoraid. Wow. And an Anorith, oh my god. Franklin, get back out here, you're finishing this off. I was worried for nothing. I was worried for nothing. His Pokemon was level 32 though, so we were smart to grind. So this should be like 33? Okay, yeah. We, we made the right decision. We made the right decision when it came to levels, but I mean, it's not my fault his Pokemon were just weak and garbage. Except for the Persian. The Persian was kind of decent. Dude, you're doing nothing to us. Just just get in the ground. Just get in the ground. Hold this water gun. Franklin coming in through. And we're about to get Surf, which is lovely. Franklin will actually have a good water type move. Finally. Grading 841 and growing to level 32 as well. Atta boy, Franklin. Atta boy. And we defeated Manager Max, aka our father. I I can't. I can't believe it. Kai. I lost to Kai. But rules are rules. Here, take this. We got $30,300 for winning that. And the balance badge, which is count badge number five in Hoenn, baby. Let's go. Three more, and we're done. And then we can take on the Elite Four. We're doing nice, guys. We're doing very, very nice. Pokemon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you, Kai. I'm sure you can use it correctly. TM42, this is normally... What? Isn't it Facade in the in the original games and Retaliate in the uh, remakes or something like that? Oh, I was right. TM42 contains Facade. It doubles the power of moves that the Pokemon has poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. It might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage. Oh, as the gym leader, I can't express how upset I am. But as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. He's still not done. Oh yes, Wally's parents came calling earlier. They said they had something they wanted to give you, Kai. Alright, let's see what our TM is. Maybe we'll finally, finally get some good TM luck. Survey says that's actually not bad. I will absolutely take Will-O-Wisp. That'll burn something and reduce its physical attack. Um, Who's best having Will-O-Wisp? It could be good on, it could be really good on Franklin. Because Franklin's got, what, Bite, Protect, Water Gun, and Morning Sun right now? I kind of want to give it to Chipper, though, for residual damage. Because Chipper is really lacking in damage. And the only move, and it still has Ember, Growl, Scratch, and Smokescreen. It hasn't learned anything new, pretty much. So we're gonna give it, we're gonna give it Will-O-Wisp. We're gonna give it Will-O-Wisp. Also, I think it's time, I also forgot to mention, I did sell our useless TMs like Scratch and Roleplay off screen. I think I'm gonna give some, what just happened? Did, you got, what is going on, guys? Do you see this? What is that? What was going on with my game? I'm actually a little terrified at the moment. I kind of want to give this to somebody, but I'm not sure who. Right, we'll hold off for now. Especially because it kind of scared me because it glitched out a little bit right there. What the heck was that, dude? That was really weird. I have never seen that happen this entire time playing this game. That is the most, like, weird thing I've ever seen while playing this. It, not even, like, off-screen has it ever done that. That is 
Honestly, I'm very confused right now. Very, very confusion. We're gonna go ahead and heal up real quick because uh, Blastoise did take a little bit of a beating from that Persian. I mean, Gardevoir kind of one-shot the Remory, which I thought was Relicanth, and Blastoise kind of cleaned up, but you know, you know, we, we lost a little bit of PP. We were about half HP, but the point is that we picked up a nice and clean double U, baby. Pretty sure this is Wally's house, right? Yes, we have to talk to you. Hi there, Kai! Our Wally's become very healthy since he went to Verdant Turf Town. We owe it all to you! When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy! Actually, not just Wally, I made me, his father, happy too! Happy that he's got such a great friend as you, Bars. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this, Gimme Surf. Oh, thank the Lord, dude! We have been dying for this move. If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go all sorts of places! Finally! Oh my gosh, finally. Wow. Finally, finally, finally. Franklin, hold this TM. Dude, you need this so desperately, it's not even funny. Oh my goodness. Um, we'll get rid of Water Gun. Screw that. It's base 40 to base 95 now. Let's go. Or is it base 90? I don't remember. The point is, we've got Surf now, and I couldn't be happier. Oh my goodness gracious, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we can actually surf on water, which means we can get even more encounters. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. The only thing that I found was annoying that was annoying as a kid was that Mr. Brian is just gone, so you, they actually make you surf across the water. I'm pretty sure in the remake he's actually still there, so you can surf if you want to. But here he's just kind of gone, so if you were stranded, you'd be kind of SOL. Like, you literally have to, like, catch something new, teach it Rock Smash, and take Bird and Turf all the way. Like, that's kind of annoying, especially, like, if you want to grind and you can't beat Dormer or something like that. It'd be pretty annoying. I don't know. That's just been my philosophy and view on it. But hey, what do I know? I don't make games for a living. I just, I, I'm in school still. I'm in school. I don't even play games for a living. I'm just, I'm just in school. But we can get a new encounter on Route 105. That's what we're about to do. Show me the money. Come on, baby. What we got? What we got? Show me the encounter. Show me the encounter. Come on. Where, where's the encounter? There is nothing here. There are you, there's really nothing here. There, is there seriously nothing here? Okay, finally. Ooh, okay. I'm sorry for speeding up, by the way, but it was taking nine years to find an encounter. All right, so we got a Porygon as our first encounter. Not bad. We'll go ahead and bite. This shouldn't two-hit KO him. Oh, actually, just kidding. It's gonna. All right, so that's not bad. I'll take a Porygon. I'll absolutely take a Porygon. Uh, we'll throw a Great Ball. Gonna say, why do I always scroll to the right instinctly? Let's throw a Great Ball at this thing and see if we can catch it. I'll, I'll be down for a Porygon. Especially, <gasps> we have an upgrade, guys! We have an upgrade! We can get a Porygon 2 as well! Yo, that could actually be kind of clean. That could actually be really kind of clean. The virtual Pokemon. Porygon is capable of reverting itself entirely back to program data and entering cyberspace. This Pokemon is copy protected, so it cannot be duplicated by copying. Um, We're going to name you... Oh, uh, hold on. We're going to name you Control-C because that's how you copy something on a computer. <laughs> I don't know why I just hit that button so many times. We got Control-C the Porygon. I actually really like this nickname, I'm not going to lie. We're going to go ahead and battle this chick right here. The blue, blue sky, the vast sea, it's so peaceful. I'm glad you're enjoying the peaceful blue sky and the peaceful blue sea. A lot of blue. Your bathing suit's also blue. Cool trainer Mia would like to battle and sends out a Tangela. Okay. Well, we've got Franklin out, so that's unfortunate. But I think it's time that Chipper gets a little bit of battling experience because honestly he needs it because we're close to a Charizard and I want me a Charizard, baby. I want a Charizard so bad. Bind me all you want. Squeeze me with your tentacle feeler spaghetti arm things. I don't care. Chipper, you think Chipper cares? Chipper doesn't care. Chipper does not care one little bit. Residual damage just kind of suck though. Let's we'll go ahead and number you. You should be too okay by this. Now Chipper, that's what I'm looking for, buddy. That is what I am looking for, my friend. I'm getting a phone call right now, but I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of recording, so... Sorry, not sorry, I guess. It's not my dad this time, though, which is nice, so I don't have to answer. It makes uh, things a little bit easier for me, so I don't have to keep stopping and restarting the episode and uh, editing it and making sure I re-edit it and making sure, like, things are where they're supposed to be and stuff. It's just a lot of extra work for me, so I'm glad I don't have to worry about that at the moment. I meant to put Chipper out front. I did not mean to go into the bag right there. Chipper needs some experience, and I really want my Charizard ASAP, so we're going to put him out front. I'm not sure how many more trainers are on this route, though. Oh, we got another encounter, but it doesn't really matter since we already have the one. It's another Porygon. Oh, really? We get the level 19, but there's a level 31 chilling right here. That seems fair, dude. That's totally fair. That's really, really cool, man. Thanks for, thanks for that, Porygon. I appreciate you, pal. 
Okay, alright. I tried to battle you, but you're just swimming left and right and up and down. Or up and down, not left and right. My bad. I got discombobulated there. This is just full of, like, normal type Pokemon so far. Alright, where's our next encounter at? Stop running into encounters! Stop it! Another Porygon. Why did they... We found a level 19 is our encounter, but these last two have been 31 and 32 respectively. Why is that... Even when we get a decent encounter, it's still our luck is just trash. It's honestly just trash. Of course. Of course it is. Of course it is. What's over here? I don't think I've ever been over here since I've ever played this game. Is there an item or something? Oh, there's just nothing. What's the point of having this island here? Unless there's like a hidden item, there's no point of it. But I don't feel like checking, so we're just gonna go back. We're just gonna go back. Oh, we, it's just Encounter City right now, guys. What the heck? I'm trying to think of something to do for Question of the Day, because I have not thought of one yet. Um, Let's go ahead and say for Question of the Day... Um... Huh. Hmm. Oh, item. I want that. For question of the day, it is going to be... Yo! Yo! If we can get a Latios or a Latias, we are set for life, guys. Absolutely set for life. Oh, heck yeah. Route 106, we can get an encounter here. I think. Can we? Because we did already run into something before. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have a Route 106 encounter, because I'm pretty sure we fished here. Yeah, we, we definitely already have this encounter. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, that's fine. That is okay. And we got into another battle. Haha, <laughs> I'm a lousy runner, but in the water, you can't catch me. Really, I have a Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure I can. I'm running on a Blastoise. You're swimming. I think one of us is faster than the other. You have a Celio. That scares me a little bit, not gonna lie. Ice Ball scares me. We're gonna go out in a Wrigley and click Choice Brain and Hyper Fang, though. That is my best play, honestly. We'll get into Madoff too, not that it matters too much, but if it has Body Slam, it'll be nice. Please just don't go for Ice Ball. And here we go. That actually did good damage. Hyper Fang, please hit this. Please just one-shot him. Please just one-shot him, please. Let's go, Pupper. Let's go. That's my boy. Atta boy, Wrigley. Oh, we needed that. Oh, we needed that very, very much. All right, Butterfree. Talking... Not Chipper. Chipper needs to get this experience going on. And soon we're close to a Pidgeot, too, so that would be nice. Okay, for today's question of the day, you guys, let me know what your favorite legendary Pokemon is in the comment section down below. Just legendary, not like favorite Pokemon in general, but legendary Pokemon. So like that can be like legendaries like Box Arts or like mythical Pokemon like Mew and Celebi. But let me know what it is in the comment section down below. For me, I would probably say I really like Celebi. Celebi is absolutely up there. Okay, thank you for world letting out my Charmeleon. Okay, fine, bring out your Doom. You just brought out your Destruction, man, so I honestly don't see the point of that. Like, literally, I'm just about to quick choice ban tackle and destroy you. So I don't see why you... Okay, alright. As I was saying, anyway, for me, Celebi would be up there. Um, what else would I say? Mew is up there as well. Um, I really also like... Uh, Verizion. I like Verizion a lot. I really like Keldeo, spell tag. And do we really want that? Not really. We don't really need that. I really like Verizion. Uh, hmm... When it comes to a favorite, though, I'd probably say either Celebi or... Hmm. I'm trying to go through, like, the generations in my head. Celebi or Latias would be my favorite, too. One of those two is my favorite. I, honestly, give or take either one. They're both really dope. Latias and Celebi are both really, really cool Pokemon. So, honestly, you give me either of them and I would be happy with it. I would have no complaints there, honestly. Would have zero. Count them, zero complaints. Um, how long have I been recording? I honestly don't know. We'll, we'll go ahead uh, a little bit further, honestly. We'll make this- I'm not sure how long I've been recording. Probably like 22, 23 minutes, somewhere around there. We'll keep going a little bit further. I'm gonna avoid the trainers now because I just want to get another encounter. We can't get one here, though, because we already used a fishing rod. Oh, hey, Nidorino. That actually would be pretty dope. I'd be down for a Nidorino. But unfortunately, we cannot catch you because we already caught something over here, and I'm pretty sure it was our Lunatone. Keep turning, please. Turn your head. All right, where's Route 108? Nope, avoiding you. Where's Route 108? I just want to get this encounter and wrap up the episode. Stop running into stuff! I just want to get this encounter and wrap up the episode. No, Nidorino, I can't catch you. I'm sorry, buddy. I know you want to join the team because we're awesome, but I can't catch you. That's not the way this Nuzlocke works. Show me Route 108, please. There we go. Alright, now we can get an encounter. Now we can get our first encounter on this route, and it is going to be... If we ever even run into it... Where is this encounter? Oh my goodness, dude. Where is this encounter? 
Where? What? Thank you. All right. First encounter, my eyes are closed. It's going to be. Is that a Rattata? Oh, it's Eradicate. <laughs> Why? If Scratch KOs you, I'll catch you. Or does it KO you, I'll catch you. Okay. Oh god, it's gonna hurt. Ah, uh, that did nothing. We're fine. We're fine, and we just got Eradicate as our new team member. Oh, what's it holding? What are you holding? Oh, it's got Berry Juice. Oh, it's just gonna be annoying. Alright, if you live this scratch, I'll catch you. If you live this one, I'll catch you. If not, then see you later, bye. Wow, it lived. This Eradicate's a fighter. This Eradicate is indeed a fighter. All right, we'll throw a Great Ball because I don't feel like wasting Pokeballs like more than I have to. So we're just gonna throw a Great Ball at this thing and hope we catch it. Honestly, I'll give it like two or three max before I just KO it, so. All right, it wants to come and hang out with us, not bad. We got Eradicate, which we will most likely never ever use unless literal casualties happen all over the place. It may even chew on the walls of houses. I, I honestly don't care enough to read your dex entry. Uh, we're gonna need you Overbite because honestly, I can't think of anything and you have one. Um. How do you spell it? It'll probably be like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is right. This is correct. Overbite was sent to the PC. So we did get that as our new encounter. It wasn't what, exactly what I was quite hoping for, but hey, it was a new encounter nonetheless. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode right here. If you guys did enjoy this episode, do me a favor and click that thumb down below and leave a like. It lets me know that you enjoyed. Also, make sure you leave a comment answering our question of the day. Once again, it is, what is your favorite legendary Pokemon? As I said, for me, it would either be Celebi or Latias. Also, make sure you guys subscribe down below. You can... Uh, <laughs> Also, make sure you guys subscribe down below. That way you can stay notified about when I upload and see all of my content as well. Follow me on social media. Links to that are in the description below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kyler underscore Ren 96. And follow me on Twitch.tv slash KaiGuySlider as well. Right around now, there should be a couple of boxes that appear on your guys' screens. Uh, the center one right there is this ugly mug. It is my face. You can click on that to subscribe as well. Off to your guys' right hand side, there's a video that YouTube has picked just for you, because they care about you. And off to your guys' left, you can check out my most recent upload as well. Thank you once again for watching this video, and I hope you have a very good day. Goodbye.